Hi everyone, I'm Pauline, I am the Deborah at Wormhole and today I will quickly go over a question that we often come across. What are the main differences between using Wormhole's native token transfer contract and the Wormhole wrapped asset token bridge? They are both great Wormhole product and they are both used for deploying a multi-chain token across many ecosystems, but they offer a different set of features, so let's dive in. Regarding blockchain interoperability, most teams default to what they know best, and traditional bridges uh, with wrapped token is often considered. And while this works, uh, it's not always the optimal solution for every use case. And at Wamo, we believe in giving developers options that match their specific needs, so you only use what you need. The Wamo token bridge is a wrapped asset lock and mint bridge. So when transferring token across chains, the tokens are locked in the token bridge contract on the source chain and Wormhole wrapped assets are minted on the destination chain. For instance, if you bridge ETH to Solana, ETH will be locked on in the token bridge contract on Ethereum and Wormhole wrapped ETH will be minted on Solana. Let's break down when you might want to use native token transfer instead of the standard token bridge and why this choice matter. Entity is an open source framework that provides complete control over your cross-chain token. So Entity is not a token standard and it offers different uh, deployment models. When you transfer your token using Entity, the token is either burned and minted or locked and minted, depending whether your token is burnable or mintable. Entity allows you to retain full ownership of your token contract and you also have 100% ownership over the Entity contract themselves. So this means you have full control over the security settings and which chain your token is canonically deployed on. Entity also has flexible verification, which means there is no lock-in to Wormhole. You could, for instance, add a security layer by running your own verifier or a third-party verifier such as Axelet. This is a key differentiator between Entity and the token bridge. The Wormhole token bridge deploy a stock token contract for you, so which is owned by the token bridge itself. And this limits your ability to update properties and to modify any of your token characteristic or even to upgrade the token itself. The token bridge also uses exclusively Wormhole messaging and security settings are managed by the Wormhole protocol governance, which is not by you. So in comparison, Entity has no lock-in. It allows you to retain full control over your token contract, gives you full ownership over the security settings. When should you use Entity versus the token bridge contract? If your token has custom feature or you want full control over your token contract and security settings, then Entity is your best choice. If your token doesn't have any custom feature and you don't need full control over the deployment and you want to quickly distribute your token across 40 plus chain that Wormhole connects to, uh, the token bridge is a great option. Both Entity and the Wormhole token bridge are also easy to get started with. So if you're using Entity, you can use the Entity CLI tool to make deployment probably in the 10 minutes. And if you are using the token bridge, um, you can create and distribute your token directly in the portal bridge. And this is what only take you a few minutes too. Remember, it's not about which is better. It's about choosing the right tool for your right application. So you can check all the links below about how to create a multi-chain asset on portal bridge and also how to deploy your token with Entity CLI. And thank you so much. And please do not hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions.